A man has been given a parking charge notice because he spent 11 minutes trying to pay with three different types of payment, each of which failed and then he gave up and left the car park. But of course, because he was on the car park for 11 minutes and the cameras have registered his vehicle registration, he's been given a parking charge notice for being on the car park without making a form of payment. Now, it transpires that he used contactless payment, payment by phone and payment through an app. Presumably, although the article isn't clear, using the same bank card and it would seem that the bank declined the transaction and therefore the payment failed. To add insult to injury, the management company said he had stayed only one minute longer than the grace period of 10 minutes within which he could have left without paying. Now there are two sides to this argument really. First of all, it seems on the surface very unfair that he's been given a parking charge notice when he didn't actually park there properly, he only parked with the intention of paying and failed to pay. On the other hand, the management company say that it's not unreasonable to have expected him to bring cash with him to make an alternative form of payment or to ring the helpline on the notice board if he was having trouble paying. For example, I was at a court hearing just this morning. I took cash with me, I took cards with me, and obviously I have my phone with apps on it. As it happens, I use the app to pay for my parking because I can extend it remotely via the app in case my hearing runs longer. But nonetheless, I did take cash with me because many car parks just don't allow payment by phone or by app or anything else, and they still rely on you putting coins into the slot. So ultimately, if this case goes to court, it's going to come down to a balance as to what was reasonable. On the one hand, was it reasonable to expect him to bring cash with him, or at the very least ring the helpline if he had struggled to pay? Not that it seems on the face of it that this would have made any difference because his payment method didn't seem to work. On the other hand, is it unreasonable that he was given this parking charge notice, being just one minute outside of the grace period, when after all he did leave because his payment methods failed? The bottom line is the responsibility is with the person parking to ensure that they have a payment method available and that it's working. But given that he left the car park because those payments methods failed, albeit he was one minute outside of the grace period, this would make a very interesting case to go to court. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one and of course thank you for watching.